Okay, wow, we have a list of 110 participants so far. So this is really outstanding and wonderful. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Laura Pavlik, and on behalf of the USAF, we'd like to offer a warm welcome to our first class in our new series of online classes. Putting this series together has been a collaborative effort between Yamada Sensei, the technical committee, the board, the working group, myself, and Karen DePaulo. Because the USAF has such a diverse and highly qualified group of instructors, we chose to feature three instructors in one class as a way to provide a sampling of our community. We're also excited to be able to invite people from all over the world to participate as we are both on Zoom and Facebook Live. The class will be divided into three continuous 20 minute segments, each beginning and ending with the sound of the bell, of a bell. That's, your, that's the sound. Your microphones will be held on mute until the end of class, at which point we will open it up for everyone to say hello again when we're all done. So let's get started with today's featured instructors, Sylvie Firestone Sensei from Aikido of Westchester, followed by Jim Soviero Sensei of Aikido of Red Bank, and Harvey Konigsberg Sensei from Woodstock Aikido. Thank you all, and let's begin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Laura, and thank you everyone for being here. It's such an honor and a privilege to be in space, space spending this time in this uh, space with you today. So let's bow in. Okay, Okay, so I'll begin. I just have to close this window here. All right. <laughs> Let's begin with a little bit of a warm up. Just a little. Get some blood circulating. Butterfly, 
Take a deep breath through your nose and then bring it to your toes. Another deep breath through your nose and exhale to your toes. One more. And bring it out. Let's do a quick stretch. Grab the toes. Keep it back straight. One more time. And body twists to the left. And switch. Switch again. One more. And pick it up. Let's back and take it. Okay? Deep breath through your nose, exhale through, through your back. One more time.
Let's work on the little Yuriri Tenka movement. So step in, Tenka, bring your arms up, and down. Right? Go back. Yuriri Tenka. Check your posture and your stance. All right, so together, right foot forward, and each. One, sheesh, whoa, whoa, sheesh, oh, two, three. So when you do your three take one movement again, you want to keep your hips level to the ground. So you don't want to jump up and down when you're doing this, right? You don't want to go this way and down. So although your arms are going up, your face here, your hips are staying level. And you move from your hips. Another thing you want to look out for is that you don't want to flail your legs out as you're moving. So you don't want to go up and flail as you're doing this, okay? So try to keep your body slim as though you are doing this in a very narrow corridor. And each. Keep your feet forward. Side. She. Go. Go. She. Two. Two. Okay. With this, we're going to do a little practice as though. You have Nage coming at you with a Shomanuchi strike. Right? What we're going to do is catch it in an Ikkyo Ura movement. Okay? And pin. Score. I miss you. I catch the arm. I pivot to take half and twist, kite tip, and pin. Okay? So let's do this together. Right foot forward, maybe Kamai. And each, grab the arm, twist, and in. Knee. Maybe Kamai again. Side. Go. And Receiving Ikkyo is uke. Okay, so I want you to pretend that you're hitting someone your size. You catch your arm. Right, so get ready to shift your weight. Open up those ribs while you're still looking at your, at your nage. They have your arm now, and they're going to turn it. So go down on your left knee, and your right, and your Left hand, shift your weight to the left, the other knee, then bring your shoulder down, and bend to the left knee. And pretend you've got a, a pretty firm nage. Let's do this with the daddy card. I go to my strike, receive, and shift my weight. My hand and knee down. Then I carry the left and knee and shoulder. And receive. All right, let's do this together. Let's start together. 
this when you're doing this on your own especially so strike the seed bring it you're supporting with your knee and your hand when you're shifting you still have a strong support here so gently bring your shoulder to the ground and from there you can just do a simple roll okay so let's try it with the roll this time so strike with your left hand strike for C and strike, see, and let's do okay, one more then, guys. It's about to go. This is your best one. Strike, receive. And. And. Okay, so I hope that everybody got a good little warm up from this little chemi exercise. And I will pass it on to Jim Soviero Sensei, who's going to really bring it up now to the next level. Really looking forward to this one. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Sylvie Sensei, for that great class. Um, I uh, do want to take a brief moment to thank uh, Laura and uh, the board of the USF, especially Yamada Sensei, the board, for uh, putting this whole thing together and for, uh, for including me in this first session. Really, really honored and humbled that you guys would uh, consider me and uh, very grateful for that. So uh, I'll do what I can to follow that, that great act of Sylvie. So, um, Let's, uh, so what I've been doing actually with uh, our dojo is um, before we were allowed to congregate outside in uh, you know, at limited capacity, uh, which we've been doing in our parking lot, uh, we've been doing Facebook live sessions. And uh, what's been pretty popular is uh, a lot of what uh, Sylvie Sensei was doing, uh, demonstrating the role of Nage and Uke in solo movement, really employing uh, the imagination to have that uh, that uh, invisible partner. Um, and what's for me is uh, in my own practice with all of this is to really be a, uh, a strong litmus for uh, posture as, as she was mentioning, uh, alignment, uh, stability, right? And just all, uh, a lot of internal work that maybe we don't give ourselves the opportunity to explore when we're with partner practice. So, um, and also introducing some uh, weapons applications to uh, open hand movement, right? So, uh, so maybe to keep things a little thematic, um, if, uh, if uh, Sylvie Sensi doesn't mind, maybe I'll go into some of uh, the Boken uh, uh, expressions of, uh, of some of the things that she did. So if you have a Boken, uh, go ahead and take hold of it. Otherwise, uh, it would just continue with uh, some open hand uh, movement that she was already showing us, okay? So. <laughs> Okay, 
So some of you may uh, practice live sword arts. Um, if you do, you know the bato or the draw. And of course, this is a, a piece of wood. So we're not we're no strangers to uh, using our imagination, you know, with the invisible partners. So now we have imaginary swords, as we know, for years of uh, weapons practice in Aikido. So doing yaido or bato, right? There's very specific kata for the draws and for the return to the saya, right? The noto, so the bato. Very specific forms there. So for Aiki Ken, just do a very basic idea. Again, what I want to do in my draw is to think of some of the uh, principles in our open hand practice that we use. So things like expanding in both directions, forward and back, as uh, Sylvie Sensei was talking about, the lower body settling in as the upper body extends upward, and front to back. So thinking. You know, in those, at least those six directions, side to side, front to back, top to bottom, right? Almost spherically, like a sphere, right? So when I draw, again, I want to imagine that blade is coming out of the side, it's still at the hip, and I'm expanding the blade forward with the uh, forward movement of my right side and drawing back with the left side at the same time. Uh, those who go we do live sword, uh, that sayabiki movement, right? Drawing the saya away from the blade at the same time. So if you want to give this a shot, palm is slightly up, and then rolls. A lot of this came from Sugano Sensei. So uh, I'm very uh, honored to, uh, to train with him for the, for the years that he was with us. Uh, most of you know the anniversary, of the 10th anniversary of his passing is next month. So uh, a little dedication to him. So. Um, the hand is slightly up, palm up, and then opening in this way, right? So again, you're just drawing, opening, and then coming into, coming into this hummi kamai. So you're defending your center line so that the kisaki, the very tip of the sword, is just under your sight line, tending slightly toward your forward shoulder. Your hands are at rest in front of center at the knot of the belt, right? And if you don't have a bokeh, Right, again, this is a very simple, just simple, maybe, uh, the hummi practice, right? We're just changing hummi and just making sure that the fingertips and toe tips are aligned with, as you change your stance, right? And then if you have the bokeh, you're doing the same thing. So just looking to keep that kisaki just under your chin. And as your hips change with your hummi change, so does the angle of the blade. So that you should have almost a, a parallel sense uh, blade to your to your torso. So it's it's a resting position, but it's still an intentional position. I right? still want to extend out through the not not necessarily this way, but you're thinking projecting intentionally out through the uh, end of the sword, the key sub right? Okay, that's a, a basic, and then uh, Sudan says they often had us, and this was just, you know, opening practice to many of the weapons classes he would do, is to change on me by uh, advancing and retreating, right? So we would advance forward with the left side, and retreat back, retreat again, and then advance. So maybe we'll just try that sequence a few times. Do it on your own at your own pace. Sensei was showing earlier. So she uh, started things off with uh, Kokyu Hall from uh, Kaiten, right? So uh, certainly you can do a movement like that from Katere Dori and Tsuki. It's really the same setup. You know, in one case, the hand is closed, the other, the hand is open, going for your wrist. And it all depends on how Nage invites Uke into their space. If it's here, 
there's the opportunity for ski. If uh, Uke gets close enough within striking distance and suddenly Nagi extends their, their forward hand, then what might have been ski becomes kata de doi, right? So it's, it's the same, same dynamic, right? So, so when we were earlier working with Kai Ten and Koki Po, let's think about that with the volcano, okay? So uh, <clears throat> we'll start the right side. And again, no volcano, no problem, just continue open hand. So, extending Kisati out, right? Almost in a uh, sort of a lateral slashing kind of a feel, right? You want to lead out through the ha side, or the cutting edge side of the blade, as well as the Kisati. So, if you do your tight hand, you're out. Then, straight up center line as you come into Jodan, right? And as you do that, draw your left foot forward. So, we're starting with the right foot, and Take Kai Ten, left foot becomes forward, draw that in toward the right as you raise into Jodan, and then pivot and cut. And that would be your, your Kopi Ho. And take the left side forward, Kai Ten, extend out, draw your right foot in as you raise into Jodan, and then move in for your cut. Right, right side. Left side. Migi on me. Hidari on me. Do a couple more. Sort of a basic approach using the Volcan as an expression of either Katen Dori or Ski Koki Ho, even uh, Ryote Dori can work very well, right? So we do that often in, uh, in our partner practice. Um, okay, let's look at Shomenuchi uh, Ikkyo. Okay, so Sobi Sensei did that. So uh, let's look, um, since she started with Ura as Nage, let's look at that, right? So. We'll take Ura, even though when we demonstrate as instructors or leading class, or if uh, we're taking a test in front of uh, Yamada Sensei or any of the other uh, technical committee members, right, we're always asked to demonstrate Omote before Ura in those uh, Katame uh, uh, techniques, right? So, so we'll start with the right side. So we'll take Yurimi Tenkan into Ikkyo Ura. So, raising Jora, Tenkan, cut, and if you want, you can take it all the way to the floor, not necessary. But what I, uh, when I show this in some of my classes online, I wanted to have students really think about how the Kisaki extends, extends out on your Tenkan, really cutting to the rear as if you're leading Uke's uh, hand away from their body to, to keep, you know, you'll, this is the, the further the arm from the center and the center line, the weaker. So that's kind of the, the effect you want to create in Uke. And so we want to have that translated into the uh, Vulcan movement as well. And also, when we're taking an Ibi Tenkan with the uh, Ikkyo arms, right, instead of just coming straight up your own center line only, you know, we're also projecting up and out, right? So see if you can, uh, do the same with the Vulcan. So instead of just bringing this straight up, extend up almost like you're pushing forward and then into, into Jodan. So it's here and then out. Right. And we'll switch it up, left and right. So left side. Right side. Left side. Nigi Hangmi. Hidari Hangmi. Hmm. 
And again, that self-check for, for me, I really want to be sure that my, my foot, it's almost as if the, uh, the can is pulling my leg forward, so that all this is together. And then as I take Tenkan, it's as if it's pulling the blade through. Okay. All right, and then uh, Sylvie says they also touched on the uh, ukeri for uh, ikkyo omote. So uh, let's look at omote, the boken. So um, when we covered this in, uh, in our sessions, we did it from, uh, on the right side, we did it from the bato, the draw, right? So if you think of nage's roll, right, showman is coming, you're sliding your knee, extending up toward the striking arm, rising as Uke rises, filling the space immediately under the arm, connecting the lead head up the forearm to the lead uh, attacking wrist of Uke, all as you slide in, cut, enter on the first diagonal, and then draw out on the second diagonal, right? So we're gonna work that with uh, with the bokken. Again, if you don't have the bokken, just do the open hand. But uh, because we're going to do a little bit of a different thing, left to right, uh, I'm going to do just the right side for uh, several times and then we'll switch to the left side. Okay, so from the right, we're going to draw. That's where the side would be tied at the, at the, at the OB. Right? So we're going to draw out and right into position as if to cut for uh, ikkyo. Right? Here. Here. And then. Ski, right? There's your projection forward as you have the wrist and elbow, and then an outward cut. Oh, I'm falling out of frame. We can come a little more this way. So if I take it slowly, it's out this way. As soon as the blade exits my left hand, I'm going to have that join. And ski, and then. Uh, then, of course, if we're taking technique to the floor, we're, we're down, right? And if you don't have the ball cam, okay. right, so. so again, just the right side.
And again, another self check for me, especially for this one, is to be careful I don't uh, come over my shoulder on this, which uh, can tend to happen, especially if I'm trying to move quickly. So directly overhead so that you have a, a clean center line cut. And then first diagonal ski, second cut out. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, so my time is close. So let's look at the noto again. Piece of wood, as we all know. No saya, as we know. So really using the imagination and dowing this with razor sharpness and the lacquered wood tie here. So again, for basic Aiki Ken, just sword is drawn, kisaki toward the floor in front of you in the right hand. And then secure your hand around the opening of the side. Draw your hip forward, projecting the opening forward, joining your hands, the blade away from your hand, the sharp edge between your thumb and forefinger, and then creating like a rail underneath of the sword as you step back. It keeps contact until you find the opening of your fist without looking, and then you can drop and bring everything together. And then again, imagine the sagyo, right? Secure your knee on tie and, and carry it freely in the, in the right hand. All right, well, thank you all so much again. And uh, I uh, can't say enough about this uh, opportunity and I look forward to the, uh, all the following sessions that will be coming up in the weekends to come. So. Uh, Thank you again, and uh, Harvey Sensei, looking forward to your class. Okay, thank you. Thank you, James. People who uh, think that this is not real IQ, I think they have to think this. Uh, we're not doing it what we want to do, how we used to doing it, but it's an opportunity to really study inside and what we do. So, pretty much. I've uh, been lucky enough to, uh, any of us who have studied with the uh, old sensei, the uh, uh, the mother sensei, the mother sensei, the eye sensei, the you know, and uh, so uh, just observing over the years, trying to put things together, what we felt was this is an art that's transmitted through, uh, directly through, physically touching each other. So right now we can't do that, but what we can do is concentrate on the parts that we we're moving from. So a lot of us already know basically when we do I, I, uh, when we do take huh? it's where you do it from. So this is my wife Carolyn. She'll be my okay. I know some people will have people with them, but mostly I want to want to stress this. What I always pretty much do stress it. When I teach, when we do I, 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 everything, I had an ex experience with the Yamada Sensei just a number of years ago, and it was in my 70s, called me up for, to take Ukemi. And that's all he did was a tiny echo. And all the breath left my body. I went, how did that happen? It was the fact that he took, it was something that I can't, it's hard to explain, but when you feel it, it's a very palpable experience. But it's when you're grabbed. It's not that Carolyn, Carolyn grabbed me and I go here. 
Mm-hmm. This is what we start with, right? This in a sense is when we move from here, right? And we try and get here. But we from here to three, right? Okay, even this one here. Touch quick, right? Quick. Okay. So what you do, when you do take time or do any movement, basically filming, I absorb here. Even I here, right? You can learn this just simply when you take the boat and you go and you raise it, you feel, you feel this part that your arm could come off, but you're absorbing here, right? And it's all, so what I experienced basically was, uh, this is like, this is all in this movement here, right? That when you attacked, you always absorb the attack in the center of the body and ground it and ground it literally. Okay. So right now, I want to take a Joe. I'm just going to get Joe or whatever you have. Okay. When you take a Joe, let's say start left tummy, just let it come right up here. Okay. And we'll start just from Steve. Okay. And yoga time. Okay. Speed. Speed. Yoga time. Speed. Right. Speed. And yoga. Now just move the body freely. But now when you're moving, I want the arms to stay out. Just as when we train, this is Sugara Sensei, um, when somebody attacked, uh, here, here, right? This wasn't this, three, here, come, yeah, come, 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 here, right? come, you're already here. So this is a, uh, so this is not a country now, this is just, Free movement with the jaw, right? So here, right? Don't want right? And this is not incorrect. So right now, I want the arm staying out. Anything that you want to do, basically, just keep. So when you take arms, right? You don't see grabs hard. I, my mind doesn't go here, right? And grab pause. Right, this is this is what this develops. So one, two, move. Keep moving, everybody. And keep the arms extended as you do this. So you get used to this feeling. So when you train, that means that you're not just moving a jaw, you're letting the jaw move your eyes. Okay, comes. Right. So if I come here and I go here, you free here. Right. So in this case, when you can grab, for instance, my finger, quick pop, right? and controls me, right? If I put my power here, right? Yeah, keep control. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, from here. Right? No, so this, this in this case, no matter where you grab, you're, you're directing it, you're redirecting it to here. If I get strong here, if you can, right? But if I get here, here, I leave it in my center. I don't contest any point where that's been attacked. So if he attacks my shoulder, I don't respond here. Right. So in this case, from working the jaw like this, basically, your ordering, your tummy is based first. Okay? So now we'll take book. And as Jim Sensei's got me, Hami, and keeping Suki at partner's throat here and here, right? Right? Now, Suburi, right? Get in! Boom! Three! Four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten. Can you tell me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten, eight. So when you do this, let everything out. All the frustration that you have. Staying inside, not being able to do what we want to do. So just like if it's rage or whatever it is, express it, just release it, okay? So if it's the virus you want to kill, that's what we're doing, okay? Whatever, okay? So again, everybody and everybody count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. I'm sorry. Now, what we're going to do is uh, something I do for personal training that's um, it's a little uh, not traditional. When you cut, usually, same side, same hip forward cutting. One, right? Now, instead, when the boat in comes up, same side hip will come up. And as you cut, the hip will come back. Okay? So using just one hand now, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So usually I watch, and this is a simple move, but we're so used to uh, cutting one way, right? That it's hard to think in terms of it's auto automatic. It happens to me too, but in this case, one, two, one, two, right? One, two. One, two, and that gives you the, the ability 
to when who can grasp. Your hips have to go both ways. Yes, the window. Right. In this case, if one hip turns and puts me in this position, she cannot get under this. In this case, my hips are here. Who can get under that here? Okay. Yeah. So, and moving, if you want to move somebody here and it stops, it's almost too late to go this way. And that's what you train the hip turns without anything moving up here. Right? You're freeing the hip to move both ways. And it's like I uh, lost, basically. So, you just now take the left side, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then eventually you want to just when, let's say, from here, this is free. This, so now you have the boat head going up and down vertically and your hips moving horizontally. So this is free. So this frees your attention in your mind. Instead of going up with the boat head and here, the shoulder, stays here, and this is over now. So, for instance now, uh, please. So, I've applied a uh, neural control. Right? Stops me here. Now, at this point, the, 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 uh, the feeling is usually that I feel the power here, and my inclination is to put power here. Now, I have a strategic advantage here, basically, but still, I'm giving up my center when I go here, which is what we don't want to do. So here, this feeling, huh? So the temptation is not to keep leading and leading and then go back into like this contracted, this is, and then here, move, keep moving, to right? Okay. So again, when we go back to our dojos, then we have to take, um, we have to take uh, you know, the, the space, you know. Uh, so for instance, with masks, right? She grabs your dough, these both hands, right? This is, And keep, learn to keep my distance so we can take advantage of the social distancing for uh, the training, right? So, who okay, comes? And whoop, okay. So, I don't, this is not a magic stick, right? Huh? In there, no. I find where this lever is. And this gives us basically, well, pretty close to six feet, right? And if you do, you hold the other now, please. And I grab. Go ahead and just move. But yeah, now you're not going to move around you. You're going to move around this hand here. Yes, well, that's it. That's it. So the temptation in training is with people moving around. Okay, but we're really not. And if I want to try to move around, okay. She becomes a center. So here, I move around her, she's a center. Here, I move around myself, I stick the center. She has to take two steps at least to my one. Okay? So pretty much I believe this is what we the advantage of using here, right? Anytime I feel 
this is like a, it's it's kind of an instrument to uh, really be sensitive, like it was a vein to where power is coming. So if I try and take over power, no. This is my belief to like no matter how hard who can grasp. Right? So again, so now we can oh some mirrors. So let's just some more the book, okay? Okay, and now letting the hips go both ways and changing the comment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, one, two, eight. Just a little bit Okay. Uh, then again, um, I felt good. So, anyhow, uh, thank everybody for coming. And uh, it was very... I, I think it was incredible. I learned watching Sylvie and, and uh, Jim. I learned a lot. And so I hope everybody can say more. And uh, thank you very much. Okay. Hey. Linda will bow out now. Hey, thank you. Hey, the more I am, the more I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, quickly, we just want to thank Sylvie, Jim, and Harvey Sensei for your great instruction and for volunteering your time to help launch this series. Uh, and thank you to all the participants on Zoom and Facebook Live for joining us and making this a special event for everybody. Uh, in addition to these adult classes, the USAF is really uh, committed to supporting the younger generation of Aikido practitioners, and we're eager to help keep them engaged in the art as well as feeling connected to the larger Aikido community, which, as you know, we all feel very, is very valuable. Uh, so if you can help spread the word next Saturday at the same time, 1 o'clock, on July 25th, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern um, Standard Time, we'll begin our Aikido for Kids class series with Arturo Peel from Aikido of New Orleans, New Orleans teaching our first class. Uh, so again, thanks to everyone who showed up today. And if you guys want to unmute your phones and say, I'm sorry, your devices and say a hello and a goodbye. It was great seeing everybody in the beginning and getting to hear each other's voices.